Hi guys, this is Candy with Two Acres in Texas. I am wanting to give you a little bit of an update on my garden tour and this is going to be kind of a mixed video. So part of it I filmed several weeks ago and then we had a lot of work that we started and then massive rain and it never got finished. Um, when we were working on getting ready to do my uh, drips in like my irrigation drip system for my plants we realized that we didn't run um, a pipe specifically for that and we had only run a pipe to go down to the end of my garden where I have uh, a hose spigot and my husband's like well if you turn this on the hoses it's like if you ever want to just use the hose it's going to drip everything at the same time and what I really wanted is a, a system where I can just come up there by my house, turn the spigot on, and it's just going to water everything for me, you know, for half an hour, whatever I'm going to do. And then, sorry, I'm trying to get a good light here. I have the sun shining kind of up. It's not the best time of day for this, but, um, so I just want to be able to turn the spigot on and then have it like just drip everything at the same time and then I can just turn it off. So I can come out early in the morning when I first start work at seven in the morning, you know, leave it on for a little bit, come back out and turn it off. So that's sort of my idea. But then he said, well, if you ever want to use this hose and you turn it on, that's not going to be a good idea. So we decided that means we have to put in another line. So I had to dig out, well, he helped me start and then my husband got poison oak or poison ivy, I'm not sure which. Um, but he worked really hard on clearing out around a bunch of our trees and I'll show you that in a moment here. Um, and then he ended up getting it really, really bad. So he's been pretty sick with that for like the last, he's just now getting over it, but it's taken about a week week and a half or so um, but but also right before that we had started working on the PVC piping project and he helped me and we kind of started it was actually for my birthday so that was actually been we kind of started it around my no it was Mother's Day that's what it was I was like it wasn't my birthday that was too long ago but Mother's Day because my birthday's in April Mother's Day would have been May so it was about three weeks ago and that's when we first came out to start the project. So I filmed the videos that I'm going to share with you right before that. So it's been about four weeks since then. And so you'll see some, obviously some progression in my garden since the, the first videos. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those videos. And then I will show you an updated video. So just understand if I'm wearing a pink shirt in any of the videos that was filmed like three to four weeks ago. Um, and... Yeah, anyways, so just tag along. And just like I was saying how he was clearing out our trees, like down there next to the trees, like way out in the field. You can kind of see some brush on the ground. I'm pretty sure when he was clearing out the brush, because it literally vines up our trees, these big trees, and it has been taking over. Like, for instance, this one here. You can see some of the dead because he cut the base of it. I think it's poison oak or poison ivy and he's got these big branches right here on the ground. And it's probably because it was leaves of three and it did have the really, I mean, but man, this stuff is thick, thick, thick. Look at this. Like the sticks, the, it's just been growing here for so long. Obviously, I doubt that it will go away completely because you have to dig it up by the root. But anyways, all right, back to where we were at. And so we're still back at my entrance to my garden, but it's expanding. So um, we still have all these trees that we haven't moved the brush of and really need to do that because the snakes here could be getting closer to the house. So hopefully with all the cats, they don't. <laughs> so in this bed here, I still have my lettuce growing, although it's I need to harvest more of it, and my um, spinach is pretty much trying to go to seed. I think it's pretty much done for, but I might be able to harvest just a little bit before. Um, in here, I did plant a few things. I have, oh, I must have left my seed packet out here. That's not good. Um, hopefully, well, it was so sealed for the most part. Um, so I have some bull's head, um... These are the beets coming in. I don't know if you can see these cute little ones. 
This is the Kyoto carrots that I got from Baker Creek. And it looks like they're trying to come in. I do have some ants in this bed, so I'm not sure if they're moving my seeds or eating them. Uh, but we'll see if these are actually my carrots. I think it is. And over here I have more of those. And then I have the carrot Danver carrots. And then trying to grow some butterhead lettuce. And this is if I can keep these buggers out of here. So, yeah, Marmars, can you go out, please? I don't want you in the bed, please. Um, over here I have some radish, some more carrots, butterhead, and then scarlet carrots. Yee! How about I hold you? Because I really don't want you in there. <laughs> I'm going to turn this back around. Say hi, Mari. This is Mario. Um, well, I thought she was a boy and she was a girl, so now I call her Mari or Mars. My husband likes to call her Jailbreak because she was always the fastest kitten in the bunch. And she's definitely a parkour specialist. She's very good at it. And she's super sweet. So we have started working on this um, next bed. But we keep getting distracted with other projects again. And here I have my bossum is turning up pretty well so far. All of these right here are bossum. I have some artichokes growing. These are all my artichokes. Yeah, you're so sweet. And more balsam down here. So these are doing pretty good, I think. I've never grown artichokes. That's new to me. Down here, I have cabbages. Now, it's kind of late in the season. Um, I have broccoli and cabbages and more balsam. And it's kind of late in the season, so I have a feeling these are just going to bolt instead of actually growing. Um, I kind of, I started them inside, and it really did take a really long time to bring them out and get them in the ground outside. I think because of the snowmageddon and everything, I hadn't had them already planted. So, like, this is broccoli, broccoli, more balsam, broccoli. This is pretty much all broccoli here. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put you down. Over here, I have lemon cucumbers. Um, so they're just starting. I had planted a couple on the ends and they had died. So I added some seeds and they're already sprouted. Um, some, ex some extra ones for me. But I have lemon cucumbers here and lemon cucumber here. And I did plant a seed or two over here, but I can't seem to see them come up. So they must have not taken um my kale from last year is bolted this is still last year's kale <laughs> and there's new stuff growing on it i don't know if that means you just keep letting it grow or if you should pull it out especially after it's bolted so over here is my um well this is all my banana peppers so I did really good with banana peppers last year. I thought we would try it again this year. Um, I also have some really cute little, do you see that? Those are some celeries, except for that one. I'm pretty sure that's not celery. I have no idea. Some of this is probably weeds, because I did not plant that. I know this one's a weed. Okay, sweetie, okay. <laughs> she is really wanting attention. These are my dahlias I planted last year, and they're coming back pretty good. This one's already got some blooms going. Uh, down here was my, um, I can't remember the name of them, off the top of my head. I got them at Lowe's for really cheap, a couple of them, but they died in the snowstorm. They had those really pretty, I want to say hyacinths. I don't think that's it, though, but maybe it is. Um, but they just died on me, so that's really sad. Let's see, I don't have anything planted here or here yet. Uh, my pink celery is growing. I don't know if you can see that, it's pink celery. And I have a few of them growing right here. I think I might try planting some more. And then I have some baby asparagus growing. So I planted some more asparagus, so like that's all last year's asparagus down here. Um, here. This is last year's, last year's. This one's just current starting to bloom. Look at that, look at that big asparagus. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, because of it being last year's, I'm just letting them 
do their own thing this year. So that is, ah, there I am. So that is sort of where I'm at right now. Um, and then I will walk you over. I sort of expanded my garden again. Try to put the seed packet in my pocket. We went and got more uh, mushroom compost at the mushroom factory that's by us. This is our new trailer. And I just finished today getting the rest of it scooped out. So I've already put some underneath the beds here for my tomatoes. And I'm going to show you sort of where I'm at with this. I'm going to try to go down here because it's kind of bright in the sun. So I have my fabric laid out and originally I had it all the way across so I could work on killing grass. Um, but then yesterday and the day before I lifted it up this half and I laid out rows of compost right where I'm going to be planting my plants. And then on, that was just on top of the bare ground because I'm trying to try out like a no dig method and we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> and then over here you kind of get a general idea of what I did under this side over here because I just laid out these rows. Um, they're a little bit skinnier down here just because I'm running out of, I ran out of compost. So I kind of tapered them off and, and made them a little skinnier on this end. And mostly I'm planning to plant more of the tomatoes up there anyways, but I think I'm going to try to space them all out pretty good along each row. And they're all pretty much different kinds of tomatoes. So, um, just to give you an idea, this is the Moscovich tomato I have um, let's see this is the yellow pear yellow pear tomatoes and I have several of those and then this section and I'll shift these around as needed but this row is Valencia and this one's sort of rose or Valencia because I forgot to mark the section. So these are all gonna be rose or Valencias. This is all striped German. I did not realize how many striped Germans we made, we, I got growing too. <laughs> striped German. So I have a lot of those this year. That's gonna be interesting. I didn't, I don't know that I grew those last year. And then these are Cherokee green. I do have Cherokee purple. There's um, in a box over by my door. I'll show you. And then these are the rows. And then this is, um, oh, let's see, the great whites. So that's all. Oh, and down there, I don't remember. Let's go look. I feel like I remember, but I'm, I must have forgot. Oh, these are tomatillos, I think. Yeah, tomatillos. So I have some tomatillos right here. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of different varieties going, which I'm pretty excited about. I've always wanted a tomato garden with lots of varieties. And just because of finances and how crazy lumber prices are, um, this was the volleyball net. And so my daughter hasn't been using it at all, so we just went ahead and took the net down. And I'm going to see if I can repurpose the net um, for gardening. But in the meantime, I can use these posts to hang a wire up above that row and my goal is to try and get um, several more posts along the rows and wire going across and then I can string and do the string method I've been actually wanting to do that for a long time so so I had gone to a garden to um, like a tour and a little clinic back when I lived in Bend Oregon at um, I can't remember the name of the, the local farm there, but they put it on, um, and it was teaching us about how they grew their tomatoes in Bend because it's a shorter season for growing because it does have a lot of snow in the winter and really cold temperatures, but it gets really hot in the summer, um, which was pretty cool, but they had taught us how to do um, tying the tomato vines up and the string method basically and you can find that on YouTube a lot of other people talk about how to do that um, 
I am, I've never actually really tried it yet so far. And so my goal this year is to try and do that with some of my tomatoes. So I'm going to be working on that and we'll see how it goes. Um, the idea really, what they taught us is that the tomato plants really only need the top layers of tomatoes. So as it grows, that you can trim off all the lower leaves after, you know, but leave every clump that comes out that's the, um, off the main stalk. Now I'm not talking about, I'm not very familiar with it, but the indeterminates and the determinants. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's the indeterminants that we're talking about because they'll just keep growing. And then the tomatoes, I believe, with the indeterminates come off of the main stalk rather than off the branches. So with that being said, when you get those clumps of tomatoes off your main stalk and as they develop, you can trim off all the leaves off below it. So as you start to get your tomatoes growing, you're going to cut off all the leaves below and leave the little leaves at the top because that's all you need, your tomato plant needs for energy. And so I've always wanted to try that. I literally took that class a long time ago. I'm talking like, I don't know, it's been a long time, probably eight or nine or 10 years ago to be honest. Um, but I took screenshots a long time ago. I have them somewhere saved on a, on a external drive somewhere, but it was a pretty informative class. So I am very excited as you can see, and I'm really hoping that the price of lumber goes back down. I don't think it will, but had I known I would have bought lumber before it all went up. It's crazy. Just since we moved here, it's more than doubled the price of lumber. Anyways, so these are my plants I have growing. I have eggplants, I believe. Why does it not say? Yeah, eggplant. So this is a box of eggplant. And I have a whole bunch of more eggplants right here. Along with some peppers, um, zinnias. And then I have my yellow, um, my yellow squash zucchinis um, these are all like yellow squash and zucchini my other tomatoes that I mentioned are Cherokee purples uh, more zin zinnias right there and then I have my peppers that I have growing on just a variety of um, different types of peppers mostly um, I think, well, I already did my banana peppers. I have some chili, chili relenos, just like last year I did that, and we really like those. Um, I have some Edgefarski, which is like a bell pepper. It's just thicker, and it's like a big red one. So I'm trying that out this year. Um, this is the Etiuda. I can't remember what those look like, but it's called Etiuda, or Et I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Uh, more of that one. I don't want to break these. Um, yeah, mostly that. And then I feel like I had a couple others. Um, there's a jalapeno, I think, in there somewhere. But those are all pretty much what I've got going so far. I have some pretty plants that I got. Oh, here's my Brussels sprouts. And I got these at... Lowe's the other day for two dollars each. There's some Gerbera daisies. My, um, I can't remember what this is called for the life of me. Um, you know what I'm talking about. What is this one? The, oh yeah, the geranium. I love these. I've always loved them since I was a kid. So I've got geraniums. And then these I grew from seed, which is actually really, really hard. Um, but it's lion's head. I got two of them. That was, I've got growing from seed. And I do need to plant those out. Are you goopers playing? Are you goopers playing? So, I've got quite a bit going on right here. And then I have um, actually still quite a bit more growing in my office right now. If my husband doesn't cut it down, we have some canna lilies that came with the house. I love them, but he doesn't want them near the house, but they just keep growing back right there. Which is going to be funny to see if um, they actually grow before he cuts it. So that's where I'm at with my garden right now. Um, I will show you guys again later when I have uh, some more stuff growing. I Once I get my tomatoes and 
my peppers all put in the ground. So pretty much this whole area that I've been showing you, I'm gonna mix tomatoes and my peppers up in that area. Maybe some, um, some pretty like flowers and that sort of thing. So that way it can um, draw some of the pollinators that direction as well. I'm trying to go into the shade. So thank you again for watching and keep following along on my next garden view tour videos just to see what's going on in my garden and see how it's progressing. And thank you again for watching. I hope you have a good day. Would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you have a good day. And now I'm back in the green shirt, which means that this is actually today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you that um, a lot of stuff has been growing since the last time I filmed it and kind of give you a general idea of what I've done with the PVC piping and the drip irrigation. So as you can see, the main entrance to my garden is torn up. That's because this whole line right here had been we i just literally finished filling it in and we got a rain so it's kind of packed it down a little bit but we did i did have to um well my husband helped me get it most of the way down i got it about the last little bit but he helped me get it started but we dug this whole section out all the way it's kind of funny because we had to curve around this pile here um but both pipes go this way so it doesn't matter so one pipe is for my drip irrigation and one is for uh, the spigot that's down at the other end of the garden. And so this whole area, we have some really like red clay. It's not great up here. Um, so all I have to do is turn this right here on and it will water my garden. He also went ahead and put in some piping to help us with turning off this side of the house with the water. Also, the other one is for the hose at the other end of the garden. Um, but I wanted it easy to go. So as you can see, obviously I still haven't, we haven't gotten all of these. He has taken some loads though of the tree that was left behind. This is his thornless blackberries and it is growing. Um, I don't know that hasn't ripened, but it may not just be getting a lot. Well, it's had a lot of water, so I can't really say that. It's got a lot of new growth going on. So that's great. It's got berries, so we'll see how long it takes for those to ripen. I did plant my um, zinnias, some of them here. Aren't they pretty? So how they're just starting to bloom. I'm trying not to get into the shade, shade of my phone or anything, but they're just really pretty. I just saw so many people planting zinnias, and I've never like thought about it, so... Um, this year was the year to try zinnias. I don't know that these, there's those white moths. I did try planting these out here. Um, they're obviously getting eaten by some bugs. I might try spraying them with some kind of like neem oil or just something. I'm not really sure yet. But these might just not make it. They were my um, Swiss chard that I had planted. I did plant... Uh, carrots and I showed you all this earlier so I guess I don't really need to explain it to you I have a few things that are growing in that are grass and weeds so I need to pull those up but my carrots are doing okay um, getting there but we've had a lot of rain and they're probably too close together so I'm going to probably go through and thin these out soon I've got some mushrooms growing there from the mushroom compost <laughs> uh, I do have some uh, rashes that I grew and you can see there's a little bit growing here. I don't know how they're going to turn out in this bed. So if they don't do great, I might just have to just give up on that. Um, obviously, this still hasn't happened. And I do need to finally, now that I've finally got my, my stuff buried, I plan today to go back through and <laughs> mow in between my beds again. But I couldn't because this was all torn up, so I couldn't get the lawnmower through here. And so it's been growing up like crazy. So what I have going on is PVC under the ground. And then this one you can actually kind of get an idea. But we did some... Uh, on like this section it has another PVC extenders. The other just does a U right here or like a, an angled one. And then I have one of these adapters, which you can't really see very great um, from this angle but it does have and then this tubing which I have to puncture holes in with this like 
hole puncher thing that you can buy with it. And then it will, I'm going to eventually get this all organized where I want in the actual beds. What in the heck is that? Hold on. I must go investigate. What is it? It looks like a cat poop. And some kind of odd bug is trying to take the poop somewhere with it. So yes, the cats I have a hard time with. They do go to the bathroom in my bed sometimes. I try to run them off, but we have quite a few cats. So if they end up over here, it's not great. <laughs> Eventually this bed, like I've told you guys before, is going to be all asparagus. So far I've got this row working on it. I've got some little ones that I planted this year, grew from seed. And I'm sure next year they're going to look more like this. And then next year I'll plant some more from seed. And I'll start them inside and plant them out. And I will get probably another row in the middle and another row over here going. And I'll try to do those rows next year. My pink celery is turning pretty good. It's getting bigger. I don't know if you can tell that it's pink because it's so dirty. But it's so cute. I love it. Also, I went ahead and added this pipe here. Um, because it's going under the ground over here and I was able to go ahead and get some more figs so we did buy this one at Lowe's about a month ago and I finally got it buried this week and then I got this one at a nursery a garden nursery and I went ahead and when I did my piping I made sure I added piping all the way down here as you can see I have leftover pipe that's going to be for more piping <laughs> Um, I have these little sticking out of the ground right here and I'm going to puncture holes so that they can get water. So every time I water my garden, my figs will also get a little bit of water. I'll probably just do like one hole punch and it'll just get enough dripping going. So this whole area is going to be something that gets done over probably the end of summer, winter, because I don't think we're going to get to it during the summer now. It's all overgrown. Maybe if we bring out the weed whackers, but I'm just worried there's gonna be snakes and who knows what in there. So my zucchinis over here are doing amazing uh, for the most part anyways. As you can see, I have some black PVC going around and it's gonna be buried right here. We haven't buried, I haven't buried it yet. I have a pile, see how overgrown that is? because we dug it all up like three weeks ago and then we had just tremendous amounts of rain. In fact, it was just raining yesterday and the day before. But I just have this one coming all the way from over there and this bed is not done yet either. I have to reweed it completely. Now that I can mow again, I have to reweed it and mow it and clear it out so I can plant some cucumbers that I have ready to go out. And I got to refix those panels right there. I've got to put one up here and the, uh, the, the next panel, I don't know where I'm putting it. I'm going to probably put it up somewhere for more cucumbers. And so, anywho, that goes, that one goes across the top of this bed through the ground here. And then around this bed here to hold it on that post. I'm going to stake it or twine it to the posts a little bit better through the ground. And then I'm just going to have it go straight down this bed here. To the other end and then this is mostly all my um banana peppers and look I actually have banana peppers they are growing oh look at this is a this is an actual pepper i don't know how this one got mixed up in the bunch but that's cool so i have a bell pepper here uh there's more banana peppers growing now i did plant my rhubarb right here because well, I have been trying to grow rhubarb since last year, and I finally got one started. Just one. So I really hope it doesn't die. Um, but obviously this leaf did die, or it's not doing good. So I'm going to try to break it off. There we go. And hopefully this one will actually grow, because I love rhubarb, and I'm hoping it sticks around. So I have, look at that, my dahlias are falling over. I really need to like stake it, I guess. It's so pretty though. Yeah, I think I might have to put a stake with this. So they're getting too heavy. Maybe I should just come and cut some off and have some inside the house. But my um, banana peppers are doing amazing. I have, there's a huge ginormous one. Um, but they're, they're gonna turn out and produce probably all summer. So I can pickle up some 
you know, pickled banana peppers and things like that. I did plant a Gerber daisy that I, I bought at the store, and I think I showed you guys that on my last video. For whatever reason, I can't remember the names of these. Lion's Tail, I think it is. I have two of them. So I planted them here because they seemed pretty strong, and they're doing good with the wind, so they're doing great. These have just exploded. Uh, I believe these were also zucchinis over here. And I believe these are zucchinis. They could be yellow squash, but I don't remember. My lemon cucumber is doing really, really, really well. As you can see, these are all my lemon cucumbers right here. And they have started going up. I need to trellis and get those to train up too. The broccoli, again, I don't know that it's going to produce... I haven't seen any growing inside yet. I've been looking for it, but still nothing. And I think because I planted it a little too late, it's possible I won't get any. The plants are gorgeous, but I just don't know if it's gonna actually produce. So I haven't seen any. There might be some just starting, so we'll see if that happens. And my balsams are looking amazing, and I actually saw a hummingbird the other day on the balsams so it's pretty cool because i was out here working on the, the piping and it it did uh i did see one flutter by and i have the um brussels sprouts started here it does look like i get some some caterpillars are eating it but it's not too bad so here's more broccoli that's <laughs> ginormous but not really producing any broccoli yet um, this is my cauliflower. It's beautiful. I just absolutely love the colors. I'm not sure if it's going to ever get to grow because it's already June now. So it's probably too late in the year for it, but it was really pretty. And next year I'll make sure I plant it much earlier. My yellow squashes are over here and these are doing really well as well. And also my artichokes that I showed you. They are getting bigger. So I think we'll actually see some artichokes, which is pretty cool. This is the first year I've done artichokes. And then also, as I said, the PVC piping, I have it going over to my tomato garden section. So I have it already over here and I have not added the piping to it. So this is the stuff I bought online and that was a saga, I will tell you uh, another time. But I also got these at Lowe's. They're half inch poly support stakes so you can stake it in the ground and it will help hold it where you want it. And as you can see I have that curved one I mentioned with this piece that you stick that PVC stuff onto it and I don't know it doesn't really I mean you just kind of pull it up. So I'm going to actually have it go up here and then up and down each row all the way back down. But I have to go through today do some staking and trimming of all the tomatoes. They are just going crazy. So that's what I'll be doing today and on my next video you'll probably see that done. So I'm going to stop here. Hey guys, so I have started trimming up my tomatoes. So I cut off all the lower level Here's the first set of blooms. And so everything below that has been cut. And I have kept a few of the top branches so that it does get its needed sun. And I use this really loose, it's like a, um, almost like a bread tie material. Um, but it is a wire, a really thin wire coated in this plasticky stuff. Um, but it does allow me to twist it like a bread tie and I have it um, uh, attached to a wire. This year I don't have the money to buy wood because the price of lumber is crazy right now. So eventually I will have a wood trellis going just for this reason. But because I have such a big vast area it would require a lot of lumber right now and with lumber prices being so high we're not doing that this year. So I did have my daughter's volleyball net post that I kind of mentioned. I strung a wire. My husband had extra wire and I just put a piece of wire across. A really more of a thicker wire. And then I used this thin stuff that I got in a gift pack for my birthday. Um, and look at that. It is working. 
it will hold these up and then as it grows I can like shorten the wire and um, or just stake it down farther and then have it just kind of go up the wire with the plant as it grows and the rest of these because well I could probably do this row also attaching to the same wire but the rest of it I don't have wood and I'm not sure if I will get it this year or not my husband thinks we might be able to get something um, it won't be the 4x4 four four, 16 foot tall that I have for the volleyball net but maybe like the round what are those like round pine log looking posts we might be able to get some eight footers and if I do get those then I will have you know another one here like a row oh what I'll try to do is combine rows so I'll probably use these two together and then I'll do like well actually it's probably these two here one for this row one for these two and then I guess one for these probably one for this row and then one for this row so in all reality I probably need about eight eight foot tall um would rather have 16 foot high I don't really need 16 but 10 foot I don't know I guess 16 is kind of high maybe eight would be sufficient so we'll see what happens if I can then I will be going through and attaching all the others just like I did these but if I can't then I did buy these stakes and I only have this many because that's all they had at my local store so I am just going to I guess what you call the Florida weave so I will trim these up but then I'm going to attach the ones on the ends to the posts and then I'll do the Florida weave where you take um, your wire your your fabric or whatever you're using a ribbon and weave it so that it will help hold up the tomatoes so that's where I'm at with my tomatoes uh, I still have so I've only done this row so far and I still have all of these to go do <laughs> anyways so that's where I'm at and then once I get all of my tomatoes finished um, staking uh, I can then go through with the PVC piping and get it aligned properly the tubing for the drip line not that tomatoes need a ton of water, but just a little bit each day, just so they have at least some moisture. And I'm hoping just to put it right at the root so I don't have to water any of the leaves and produce like powdery mildews or any kind of diseases. I do think there's one that I'm going to have to rip out and I'll show it to you real quick. As I was staking, I noticed this poor plant. I'm not really sure what happened to it. It's probably got eaten at the roots maybe. But I'm not really sure, but since it does look kind of funky, I might just go ahead and rip that one out since I have plenty of others to go from here. So anyways, I will keep you updated. All right, so that's it for today. And I changed my shirt because I have literally been out here all day. I was sweating earlier, trying to work on my tomatoes and um, just all sorts of things that I've actually accomplished today. So I've been working really hard. I think I had a day off of work today and God gave me a nice day so I could enjoy my time outside. I think I pretty much spent almost all day outside today. Um, and I think I got a lot accomplished. I got some of my plants planted. I got the tomatoes started. They're not done yet. Um, I weeded and all sorts of other things. So... I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.